X-ray light is high energy light. So if you think about the visible spectrum, we've got the rainbow of colors. You have red, and if you go to higher energy, you have green, and then you have blue. If you keep going in energy, we get to what's called the ultraviolet. And if you keep going up in energy, you get to what we call x-rays. You may be familiar with that term x-ray because you've probably heard it in your dentist or, or maybe in your doctor where they use it to, to kind of see inside your leg or inside your teeth. It's a much more penetrating than the visible light. Uh, so we can use it to see through things. I'm Jessica McChesney. I'm a physicist at the Advanced Photon Source. My name is Gilberto Fabris, and I'm a beamline scientist at the Advanced Photon Source Argonne National Laboratory. So in my work, I study uh, this particular type of uh, property of materials that is called magnetism. And it's the same property that, that your uh, uh, magnets in your fridge have. A lot of the electronics, like your computer, uh, will have a lot of magnets inside. And we can use the, the x-rays uh, from APS to be able to look inside these materials, these magnetic materials, to uh, be able to develop better, uh, better materials in the future. I use x-rays in order to understand the electronic properties of materials. And these materials that we study are the ones that may end up in your cell phones as either the batteries, the logic, the interconnects, sometimes even your screen. And so what we do is we shine the x-rays in and we look at the electrons that come out. And by measuring the electrons that come out, we can know what they were doing inside the material. And if we understand how they behave in the material, then we can design materials with the properties that we want for the different devices that we need in our future. So the research at the Advanced Photon Source has a wide ranging impact on our daily lives. We look at all kinds of different materials, including um, electronics materials. Super hard materials that can be used for airplanes. Batteries. We can study the battery while it's actually being used because you can see inside of it. There's a lot of materials research that happens. You can use the x-rays again to look inside of it to study any potential cracks and any potential defects on those materials. And a lot of research um, at the Advanced Photon Source has actually been used for vaccine research. They imaged the uh, spikes in the COVID virus uh, using the X-ray light. Because X-rays are invisible and non-destructive, we can even look inside things like meteors and fossils. This is all research that can be uh, done using the X-ray light produced at APS. There are so many cool things that we do here. <laughs>